All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back once again. Today we're doing something called password cracking. I know it's one of those fun and exciting things that we all like to do. We're going to utilize uh, a Windows 10 machine today. So we have to set it up a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, today we're going to do Hydra. Today we're going to do Hydra. And tomorrow I think we're going to do John the Ripper. But today's Hydra. We're going to use uh, Secure Shell, uh, which means we need to activate that service on our Windows 10 machine. Then we're obviously going to use Hydra uh, in our Kali box. Now, Secure Shell replace Telnet, which operates on port 23. SSH operates on port 22. These are things that you need to memorize if you're going in for your Security Plus. Um, and that's why I mention it, right? Because we're all about education here. I want to preface this video before we get started by saying 100%, don't do something illegal. Don't do something stupid. We're using a virtual machine. We're going to go through on our own virtual network. We're giving ourselves permission to do it. That makes it ethical and legal. If you go through and you start messing around with things you're not supposed to, then we are going to have a problem. Uh, the cops will get called. You'll be in trouble. You'll go to jail. All that, all that nasty stuff. We don't want to deal with that. So again, this video is for educational, educational purposes only. I cannot talk today. Uh, all right, let's get back into it. First thing, I need to set up my Windows machine. So here I have my Windows machine right there. Uh, you'll notice that I've got a little bit, a little bit in there. I need to start up. Let's blow this up. I need to start off by looking at services. So I'm just going to type in services, and right there, desktop app, and we are going to go into Open SSH. Let me see if I can't move this out. We're just going to scroll down over to SSH, or I should say open SSH. We're doing the server. So open SSH server, and I'm going to start that service. Now, if I wanted to have my SSH actually start up every time my Windows 10 machine started up, very easy to do. I'm just going to right click. I'm going to go to properties right there. From properties, I'm going to change it from manual over to automatic. And with that, I'm just going to press OK. And we can see now that our OpenSSH server is running SSH protocol. It's currently running, and it's set up for automatic. Now that we have our Windows 10 set up, we need to figure out two crucial elements here. We're going to type in the CMD line right there to get into the command prompt. And from the command prompt, we're going to first find out what our IP address is. Now, we could use Nmap, uh, but I'm being lazy today. And so we're just going to find it out. It's 10.0.2.15. The other thing we need to find out is what our user is. And to find that out, I'm just literally going to type in who am I, and it's going to tell me that I am currently on the Win 10 test, and I am IE user. So that is my username. Now, as we're going through this, we can extrapolate that the IE user is a legitimate username associated with most virtual accounts, right, or brand new accounts, or even the default, some people would call it. So with that, I'm going to open back up my Kali box. Now, the first thing we want to do before we get too far into this, right, is we want to make sure that we can actually connect to that Windows 10 machine. Nothing sucks more, and when we're going through a lab and we're trying to connect to it to find out that it doesn't actually work the right way. So in order to get started, we're just going to make sure it works. We're going to type in SSH, just like that. We have to use our username that we already know is IE user, just like this, at... 10.0.2.15, just to make sure that we can actually connect. It's asking for that password, which I know what the password is. And there you go. We're logged in to that system just the way we want. Uh, and you can see here that I can do a, uh, I don't know, who am I? A little bit of dyslexia there. And we can see here we are IE user at Windows 10 test. So we're actually in the system. Uh, all right, so now we're in the system. I'm going to just hit Control C to get out of it, or I'm sorry, exit to get out. So, and we need to do a couple things. The first thing we need to do is actually grab a password list. To grab that password list, we're going to open up our Firefox. We're going to go to trusted Google. From Google, we're going to type in the rocku.txt right there. And you can see here the very first one is a download for the latest words associated with it. Now, I've already done that. I'm going to go ahead and shut that down. And for now, I'm just going to change my directory to CD downloads. From there, I'm going to hit LS. And you can see that I have that rocku.txt folder right there. That's our password list that we're going to utilize. You can also see that I started a usernames.txt folder as well. Now, to set this up, we're going to do very start. We're going to do Hydra, and then we're going to do a lowercase l. So lowercase l, switch or attack lowercase l. Uh, with this, we have to identify the username that we're attacking. In this case, it's IE user. Uh, you could do the pat user list if you wanted to. You could create a user list. You just do a uh, tack uppercase L and then provide that text document with a list of those usernames that you wanted to associate with. 
I'm going to do a tack or switch, capital P, because I am going to use the password list. In this case, it's the rockyou.txt, just like so. And then finally, I need to put in the IP address for attacking 10.0.2. Dot one five, and then finally the protocol we're going to have Hydra go to town on. Uh, and so finally I'm gonna hit enter, and let's see how long this takes. Uh, it shouldn't take long. I know what the password is, and I'm pretty sure the password is on the rockyou.txt folder associated with it. So we'll see, we'll see how Windows does with it. And there you go, it has hacked it already. So we can see here that it's filled out, and we understand that it is operating on port 22, SSH, our host IP address right there, what the login name was, and then finally our password, which was 123456. Uh, that, that's Hydra, that's Hydra. I hope this was informational. I hope that you found uh, some use in it. Obviously, you don't have to use SSH. It's probably one of the easier ones to utilize uh, and quite prolific in the Windows environment. So definitely something that I would, I would put in there. I also want to point out 123456 is on the top 10 list of passwords utilized by people. Uh, so it is definitely a password out there. Uh, do you have a password that you think would, uh, would take some time for us to hack into or a password you want to try? Knock it out on this lab and tell me what you think. Uh, as always, if you found this helpful, please go ahead and hit that bell, hit subscribe, uh, and follow for more. We'll see you guys next time. I'm Dr. K.